Driven by Mars 15 is out and it brings you many, many cool features for Bitwig 4.1. For worth warning, first Bitwig 4.1 is not finally out. It's available in a beta version, but we are currently at beta 3 when I'm doing this video. And I think beta 3 is quite fine. And I don't want to hold back these new features to you because I really like some of the new stuff and especially the first feature that you find open and close uh, group tracks is something I know uh, many, many people have been waiting for. And I implemented this feature for nearly all the supported controllers, at least all the controllers or protocols which allow to select individual uh, tracks. Some can only go up and down, so these are not supported, but I think most of the controllers you use and are available on the market are now supported to have this feature. And let's check it out here on a push. As I said, you have it also on other ones, but here on push, I can show it to you. So here I have, for example, a drum group track. And you see also maybe, I hope you can see it in the video, this very smallish here icon. I changed that it shows as well. So you see an open folder and on a push, you need to press shift and select it to change its state. Now it's closed. Also the icon change to a closed one and you can toggle it open again and so on to your heart. So like makes even more sense on controllers which don't have this hierarchical navigation like for example here on a complete controller where it's flat, then you see jumping up all the child tracks here as well. So with them it makes even more sense to have this feature available. Another cool thing is that you can set now the loop, the Ranger loop, the start and stop. So this is available on the Force and MPC series as well on all the Machina models and the Push 1 and 2 as well. So let's check that out. On the push here, I put it on the two knobs. So they change here currently the tempo. And the second one changes the position in the project. And now you can use it with the Select knob to change your arranger loop. And you can use the second knob also to change the length so you can make it shorter or longer. And if you want to do more fine grain changes, you can also combine it here with the shift key and can then go very detailed to adjust your loop. And same here for the length. So pretty handy feature. So you don't need to touch your mouse and you can do it here on the controller as well. Final feature is a bit gimmicky. So you get now an under redo state, not that very impressive thing, but nevertheless, something nice to have maybe. So you see the undo key is lit so you can undo as well. And we are back to the first and then it's now off. And the same is for shift. If you do shift for redo, you see redo is available. For example, if you go now to the end, you see also redo is gone. Going off. Yeah, not impressive, but might be helpful to some of you. Then I'd like to end with some specific features uh, which are only available on the push one and two. And this is now improved support for markers. So in that project, I don't have any markers. And to enter marker mode, if you don't know, you press the session, you press session again, and then you can select your markers. And then you will have the marker support here up here in the display. And with the buttons here below the display, you can select the markers, but we don't have one. But now with Bitwig Forward on, we finally can add markers and it adds the marker at the current play position. So if you press that, you will get now here a marker. And you can also do that during playback. For example, if you do podcasting or something and want to add markers on the fly, you can do that as well. And what you can do now in this menu, you can either select them or start playback from that position of the marker. So you can change the behavior up here. So now it's only selecting. So my play cursor jumps to that position. And if you switch to launch, it also starts the playback from that uh, position. Pretty helpful feature to have and you cannot only add markers you can also delete them and just keep the delete key pressed and select the marker you want to delete and it's gone away so quite night editions we have now with bitwig forward on also same features are available on the reaper side if you're using that as well and i hope you like it dig it and make some funky music <laughs>